What's up guys? We are here, we made it to Exmouth. We are back on the coast. We are gonna be traveling from the tip of Exmouth and we're gonna be working our way down and showing you guys what's on the way. So starting from the top, we are all the way at the very tip top of Exmouth on the west coast. And the first things you're gonna see here is... All right, so I'm gonna save you guys some time and some patience and just quick play-by-play -play of what happened. So first we start off at the very north point, Shiprove Cove. This is what it looked like. It was cool, it was nice, nice beach, good stuff. Next spot, we went down south to Surfers Beach. And this is again, nice beach. This is where people surf, good waves. Yeah, we shot some B-roll, we hung out. Then we made our way south, we get attacked by killer flies. Make sure you guys bring this bug spray. It didn't really help, honestly, but um, it's like a new, like a super breed of flies. They're just like immune to everything. Then we try to sneak up on some turtles at the turtle sanctuary. There were no turtles there. You know, you win some, you lose some. Apparently you're supposed to go at nighttime and you might have a chance to see the turtles. Maybe, maybe not. We then made our way down south. We stayed at Yachty Homestead Van Park because there are no spots available to stay in the Cape Range National Park. Uh, there actually are spots, but you have to book 100% online. So if you guys are booking, book online. Pass forward out of here because that was, again, kind of a bland day. So I don't want to put you guys through that punishment. We are now at Cape Range National Park in the morning. We are starting on the south side because of wind conditions and because of the tide conditions. I'll explain a little bit later, but we are going to explore Yachty Creek. Starting off the walk to Yachty Creek, you'd think like this is kind of, it looks to be like the end of the path, which I don't think that it actually is. So I think you just kind of hop over and we're gonna find, it looks like there's a trail up here. the top we made it to the end um, if you guys see here the, the sign here is uh, an environmental protection sign so basically you, you shouldn't go in that area because it's a environmentally protected area uh, and usually they have good reasons for doing this stuff. Um, here's what you got though when you get to the top it's pretty cool so this is like the the biggest rock face you're gonna see over here and then this river is kind of the path that we were taking. And then we can run back into the ocean. It was cool. I liked it. So we're going to head off to the next stop. I think that we're going to a beach right now. All right, guys, we're really kind of at the beach. I guess it's not really a beach, but it's cooler than the beach. So this is the Oyster Stacks. Uh, and this is where you're going to go snorkeling and kind of see everything. And we got super lucky because Apparently, there's only like, for this week, there was only two hours of the entire week. So two days, one hour in each day that you were able to kind of snorkel in this area because of the tide. And it just so happened that today is one of those days where we had that hour. That's Meditation through the yoga lessons. Going green by the minute. Soon I can't wear any other colors. This is covering the walls, but they fall down. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we are at our next stop, which is just about uh, maybe two miles up the road or four kilometers. And uh, this is called Turquoise Bay, which is for pretty obvious reasons, I think. Uh, and the unique thing about this one is that there's a super strong current that blows the water this direction in toward the ocean and out. So like when you come here, you have to, they say to just walk down um, and then you just kind of drift your way back to where you started. Uh, because once you get kind of pushed out toward the ocean, the current is so strong that, you know, you might not come back. So that was kind of like the, the first side of the point and I felt like compared to you know oyster stacks that was a little bit of a letdown. Here is like what the other side looks like and from just looking in the water like you could see where the dark spots are um, like where there's coral and where there's stuff going on and you see there's just not that much stuff going on over here. This though is kind of where everything comes together so there's a current from this side that pushes out over there and then the current where we were over there pushes you out over there and then basically once you get caught anywhere in this area you just get sucked way out so um i think that's going to be uh it for this this spot uh snorkeling i think i'm gonna hang out on the beach it's a really really nice beach you see the the water comes up here uh, like crystal clear blue soft sand it's really really nice it's definitely the beach that you want to come you want to hang out you want to chill um, this is a really really good beach to do that if you're looking to snorkel i would definitely try to go to oyster bay uh, try to find the time of the day and try to schedule it like around i know that's probably pretty difficult i'm not sure exactly how to do that i think the so the information center inside of the national park they have the schedule of the currents and the tides and stuff like that and they will know in advance so if you guys have like a like a couple day window maybe you can ask them and uh, just kind of hope but that place was really really cool uh really easy to swim in no currents anything like that this place is not quite as densely populated um with stuff you know but the the beach is really nice again so uh we're gonna go off we're gonna grab some lunch before we head off to our final kind of uh spot tonight <laughs> Alright guys, just finishing up the night at the lighthouse that I was talking about earlier. Uh, doing a little bit of whale watching. I don't know how to catch Randy on film. I've seen a bunch, but it's really hard to actually capture them like as they're jumping on the camera. Because when you're like fully zoomed in, like one's over here and then oh I really hope I just got that. If that was in focus, I just nailed it. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, it was an excellent day, really, really cool day. Uh, I'm glad that we kind of fast forwarded through that other stuff, but overall, definitely go to the park um, as opposed to like staying up top. I mean, you can do the beaches and stuff like that, but the park, just incredible. Besides that, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you really wanna make my day, like just make it awesome. I'm just gonna take you one click, hit that subscribe button. I already had a great day. It's, it just, it, it can only get just this much better if you, hit that subscribe button, it would be awesome. We'll see you guys tomorrow. There is nothing I can do to take this love draw it back to you. This love of mine. This love of mine. Cups and windows.